Howdy doody clampers, we're off to a place today called Leslie Dam. It's at Warwick, just outside of Warwick, around, I don't know, 10, 15 k's outside of there. But we're going out there to have a look at it today. I heard so much about it. The scenery is spectacular. So, look, let's head out there today. I want to stop at Warwick today, just to get a few things, shopping, a few other little things and stuff like that. Go to the bank, as you do, you know, certain things. So I've got to find a, spa, a parking space um, out there. And also, there's a dump site just outside uh, Warwick, it's not exactly where I need to go, but it's only a couple of kilometres from Warwick, so I'm going to go out there and have a look at that. Um, I got told there should be signs out there, but there's not, so let's take a look at the um, dump site out there. All right, talk to you soon. Let's get in our vehicles and get out of here. See you soon, clampers. Made it to Warwick. Mate, we've got a dump station just outside of Warwick. Um, it's near the water treatment plant out here. Look, it's a decent size area to pull your rig up, as you can tell behind me. Look, it's pretty good. Like you can park any RV in here, big bus, whatever. The road's fantastic. It's on a bit of a decline on the uh, the passenger side, which mine is on, which is on that side, and the waste tanks on that side. So everything really runs out. So it's a really good dump station. Look, the water here is not portable. It does smell like sulfur. It says untreated raw water. Look, it's right near, it's on wiki camps. If you look at wiki camps, um, it does take you straight here. There should be some signs out on the road, but eh, you know, save the money, save the council, you know what it is. They like to save cash. But it's right, like I said, if you look on the map right now, it's right there. Look, you just pull in, there's a good turning around bay, as you can tell right where I am at the moment. Come and dump your crap as you say um, look there's no nozzle on the tap to actually put a fitting on it and you don't really want to fill up your water like um, with this water I was filling up my um, tank to wash it out and it really has got a very bad sulfur smell so it does stink so I would not use this water at all for nothing except wash your pipe out and everything else look I didn't even put anything back into my tank out of that water to slosh it around i use my own fresh water that's on there so if you use the water here to put it it's going to stink again it's going to have a really bad sulfur smell when you go to do a crap you're going to go oh that smells poo my poo, poo, poo smells. smells but look it's not your poo it's the water when you're finished wash the dump site down put all your hoses away you can rinse your hose with it and everything else if you've got a hose like mine if you've just got a cassette <clears throat> don't worry about it don't use the water back in there again. Look, you can to wash it out and tip it out, but like I said before, it's got a very bad smell to it. It's a pretty good area to dump. I mate. Mean, seriously, it's probably a good area to camp, but there's no camping here. So, all right. All right, well, we're going to go back into Warwick. I've got a few things to pick up from Big W, shopping, fuel, and then we're going to Leslie Dam. So, we'll see you soon, clampers. Talk to you then. Another episode of free and budget campsites. We're around 170 kilometres away from Brisbane. Uh, look, it's just outside of uh, Warwick by around 17 k's, give or take a couple, depends which way you go, of course. But look, seriously, what a piece of heaven just outside of Brisbane. Take a look at this. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, of course you can see it. Right, have a look at this. Mate, seriously, what a reserve. Right, oh, we're at Washpool Reserve area. I'm just going over the park and having a bit of a look for you guys to see what you're in for. Look, I'm really impressed with this park. Another impressive park. And it's budget. For a single person, it's $14. I know that says four, but all right, I'll add four plus 10. There you go, 14. If that makes sense. Right, hey, Clambers, when you get to um, Leslie Dam, but it's not really going to be called Leslie Dam, it's Wash Pool. Um, this is the area you need to go to if you want this recreation park. Oh, I can hear thunder. I can't see no lightning, so it can't be very frightening. Anyway, look, when you do come here, and if Vicky is not here, you go over to this um, shed over here, which I'll show you very shortly. Let's go for a bit of a walk-see. Right. 
Right, you come over to here, and then they've got these um, envelopes. They've got these envelopes that you fill out, put your money in it. You get a little ticket. You get a little um, ticket inside, a little yellow one that you put on your windscreen, so she knows you've paid already. So when you come here, ring up if you want. She might answer the phone, but she's a very, very busy lady. So look, if she's not here, leave your money in here. She'll come and see you eventually. She'll come around the park and see how you're going. All right, Clambers, I'll show you some more of the park. Right, uh, every time you come to each park around these joints up at Queensland, look, they've got this thing here, must register uh, to enter park. It's just the, for the COVID-19. Look, we don't have much COVID-19 up here at the moment, which is a good thing, up at Brisbane or Queensland area. But even still, if it does turn up, at least the contactors can get in contact with you and let you know you're a close contact. Now, look, no one wants to get COVID, but if we do get it, Oh well, well, we battle through it. Let's have a little bit more look at the park. What do you reckon? Let's go. up for sale there's three types of sizes of timber you can actually get oh sorry timber you build wood you burn hmm loser get it right right -o. you've got a $15 bag you've also got a $20 trolley and you've got a $30 trolley these are the different sizes right here as you can see look they're not too bad size look when you get them um, look, she'll bring them out to you and everything else, and it's good wood. Seriously, it burns. Look, there's a bit of timber around the place you can probably, you know, take and use. But if you want a decent sort of fire, come and see her. Great timber, perfect. And all the money goes back to the park. So, and I forgot to tell you, she gives you fire drums. No open fires here. They've all got to be contained. If uh, some of the places have got like rock mounds, they've actually been put there. But if not, when you want a fire, she actually gives you one of them to put the fire in. How's that, eh? Cool! You don't even have to bring your own fire pit. They supply it for you. Like, at the moment, I'm really impressed with this reserve. It is really, really nice. It, it's peaceful. It's so quiet. All I'm hearing is my own voice. The buzzing of the flies. You get them everywhere, you know that. And the birds. And there's no skippies around today. Okay, they might have taken off. They've gone home. Sonny must have caught them. Oh, okay, skippy, I'll come home. Doing, doing, doing. Anyway, look, while you're out here, there is fishing out here. Um, 
they've got legal sizes like you said 30 centimeters 60 centimeters you know catfish oh, what would you want to buy get a catfish for <laughs> anyway look I'll give you a bit of a look see look there is a phone number where you can dob in illegal fishing dobbers but look when you come out here you need a fishing permit no matter what it's only a couple of bucks a year anyway so it doesn't matter look ring them up um, have a chat to them the phone number is on the bottom if you want to see it um, ring them up you can do it all over the phone it is simple they send you an email la 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 if anyone comes out the fisheries come out and you go see I've got, a, I've got a permit right now these are the fishes you can actually catch in the recreation park you can actually get uh, what do we got we got golden perch we got silver perch we've got the Murray cod we've also got catfish and oh there's a couple of perches in here okay righto fair enough and um, look all the information's here in front of you right oh clampers when you come in there's lots to do here look you've got a lake here and else you've also got skippy Skippy da bush kangaroo de -de -de -dint, de -dint. Anyway look nothing to, nothing to joking around right look you got wildlife here look I don't know how friendly they are let's see how close we can get before they go freaky Hello Skippy come on see friendly Look you got lots of wildlife around here and everything else and they mate serious Oh look at a little joey they've got a little joey over here look Look at the little kangaroo. I think they're more curious about me. What am I doing with this big black stick? But anyway, look, it's a beautiful dam. Seriously, listen. I can only hear birds. And, and, and then the kangaroos, they're going. Which way did he go? Remember, for the old folks, you know, when Skippy used to come for the rescue, Skippy used to sit there and go. And then Sonny used to go, what? He's got a fractured vertebrae and he's bleeding internally? Really? And he's on a cliff face. Let's go get him. I don't know how they get away with that all the time, but look, it was good TV back then in the 80s. But seriously, it's really nice down here. You've got plenty of places to actually put your boat in. I'm just looking out here. The dam is pretty big. Now, I have seen a few boats out there already. I don't know which I will find out for you if there is any boat ramps around here but I'm assuming these are just normal but look I'm seeing tire tracks here just behind me this area here is like a boat ramp you could probably get your car in there look it's pretty it's pretty sandy but yeah look give it a go if you want but I, I got told there's fish in there I don't know what sort of fish I'll ask if I see a fisherman right eh? This park is so big, it has to have two, two toilet blocks. Look, <clears throat> you've got just the toilet blocks behind me, and you've got outside showers here to cool yourself down, because it does get pretty warm out here. So if you want to cool yourself down, have a cold shower outside. And also, if you do go for a swim, water ski, whatever, you can actually come up here and rinse yourself off in the outside showers. Beautiful. How's that? Anyway, and these ones also got females and male toilets also and mate seriously i seen her every day cleaning them every day go vicky right oh the second set of toilets you've got disabilities on in the middle you've got ladies on the uh well depends what side you're looking at if i'm looking at it's my right and the gents on the left now these ones have got the hot showers in them so look you've got the other ones which are over there which have just got the toilets in it and that's about all they've got um uh, but they've got they've got cold showers at the front forgot about that one yeah so look uh, great showers and toilets she cleans them every day she's a legend right oh uh, second set of toilets and in front of that which is not very good is you've got the dump look it's not a good dump for um large rvs like me i cannot pull up here and pump the stuff up because it is uphill it's like pumping shit uphill <laughs> uh, not funny oh, right, no. look, look, um, it is mainly for cassettes the water here is non-portable so don't drink it <coughs> you'll get sick don't drink it no nah. look um, it's enough to dump your cassettes and everything else if you want to do it wash it out perfect for me i've got to go back into warwick 
Good afternoon, clampers. Just a little bit of a reminder, we've got another fire. Yes, the toilet block at Washpool Reserve. It gave me a five, yeah. Just behind me here is where you can fill up with water. It's just opposite the dump site and the toilets, and this is drinkable water. So when you're on the way out, top your tanks up. Or if you're on your way in, top your tanks up. One of the two, top your tanks up. Why not? Radio duty groovers. Here is one of the powered sites that you can choose from in the powered section. Now the powered section is really on the south end of the park um, and the non-powered sites are at the northern end. So <laughs> there is a few, excuse me, there is a few sites up here where are non-powered. You can actually park down near the creek. Look, I'm looking at the ground and it is a little bit uneven so you really have to chock your van up down there. It's probably out by around 10 degrees, give and take. Look, I'll give you a look at it anyway, but um, look, these are one of the power sites. You've got your power boxes here. Um, you've got two allocations for power, so you can actually park here or park over there. Look, wherever your extension lead reaches, you can park. Look, you just have to pay for power. If you've got a long enough extension lead, you can park down further if you want. So look, this is all shaded area. So if you're planning that you want the sun to charge your solar, you're not going to get it in this area because it's really overgrown with trees. No, I wouldn't say overgrown, but there's a canopy. As you can tell behind me, it's pretty shaded, so you're not going to get some good sun here for your solar. But look, even still, you'll get a little bit, but if you're plugged in the power, who cares? Who needs solar, man? Ah, pay for the power, it's only a couple of bucks extra. We're down at the, the southern end of the campsite at the moment, or oh, reserve, sorry about that. Uh, we're at the southern end of the campsite. Look, it's still pretty nice down here. Look, it's very slopey around this area if you want to cut, park away from the powered sites. But you can park down. If you've got enough chocks and everything else, you lift your van up, beautiful. But it is pretty slopey. And I've just noticed there's a lot of boat ramps around here. Well, look, they're not cement boat ramps. It's pretty solid. So look, enter at your own risk, of course. No insurance will cover you. Just be careful. How cool is this? Every camp uh, area that I've looked at so far, it's getting better and better and better. Man, look at this joint. Mate, it's flat up here, but you've got a whole bunch of rocks and everything else. Um, it's like a little mini, I don't know what you want to call it, like a little something you see at the zoo. And if you look behind me, bye Skippy. Skippy's out of here. He's going back for more sultanas. Right, here's a bit of a heads up. Look, it's like a fire warning sign, but it's for blue-green algae. It's low at the moment, and they've got a um, thing that can actually change to say it's bad for your health. Look, you don't want to swim where there's blue-green algae because it's not very good. And it's... <laughs> nah, not good at all. Right, -o. here we are in the Grand Canyon scape of things. Look, in this park, there are small canyons. I'll give you a close look at one now. Enough of the day, Ben Attenborough. Right, hey, look, when you come in, there is a few little um, parts that you'll have to go slow across. It's just because the rain runs off down to the dam. Duh, where the water's got to go? It's got to go downhill. So, look, there is a few little potholes and little divots here. So, just be careful when you do go over them. Look, there is places where you can actually miss them, uh, where they're not there. So, look, aim for them. Get laughing. Right, uh, here's some of the non-powered sites. We're not right at the north end at the moment, we're in the middle, but there's more unpowered sites than there is powered sites. And look, seriously, really nice. Look, every place I go to at the moment, I just want to stay longer and longer and longer because it's so nice. It's like, oh well, you know, gotta keep moving, gotta keep those wheels moving, moving, moving. Right, I hear more of the campsites actually near the waterfront. Look, they're really, really nice down here, and they're pretty... Oh, look, I'm only going to give them five, six degrees. Look, you can really find around here flat spots. So, but when you come here, be vigilant, and don't park in places like this, 
the ants nests because if you do you know what's going to happen they're going to crawl up and come in your van and these ones are not small ones these are big ones they eat you alive no they won't eat you alive they'll hurt if they bite you so just be careful with them anyway got eyes how you pick your campsites park on the grass yeah not on the sandy soil with the little lumpy rocks everywhere it looks like all the sand's been taken out and they're just tiny little rocks everywhere. Now that's them cleaning the place up, their, their joint. So look, don't park on their place because then if not, they'll come in your place. Right, we've been down the northern part of the park. They've got boat ramps, they're probably around 100 metres apart. There's, I've counted five so far. So you've got five little boat ramps that you can actually take your four-wheel drive down, put your boat in um, and go for a bit of a bit of a belt. Yeah, look, I don't know. I don't think you're allowed to have jet skis in here, but you're allowed to have speed boats and stuff like that. So, well, I'm assuming you should be able to have jet skis. I'll find that out for you. Right, uh, here's another campsite. Seriously, every campsite, I can't fold it. Like these ones up here, they're level. They're under a little bit under shaded trees. You've got a nice little grass area around here, mate. Even behind me, I'll go swing behind me over here. Look, everywhere I'm looking, you can park a van and it's still spectacular views wherever you get. You can see the lake, you can see the birds. Sad to say, you've got to live with the kangaroos. They actually shouldn't call this Washpool Reserve. They should have called it Kangaroo Reserve. Mate, heaps of them. Just, look, they were outside my van this morning looking at me going, huh? What's going on, man? Doesn't matter. Look, they're not, they're not vicious. You just got to watch out for those drop bears, guys. You know what those drop bears are like? Yeah. Good morning, campers. Mate, I spent a couple of nights at Washpool Reserve. What a peaceful place. Just outside of Brisbane. Seriously, if you do yourself a favour, coming out to this place and forgetting about the rat race in town, you beauty, for sure. Mate, at the moment it's a little bit warm, but who doesn't like warm? You got a lake there, go for a swim. Unless you're scared of the water. You never know, there could be some sea monsters or something like that. No, look, seriously, if you're out this way, like I said, it's only around 17 um, k's from Warwick. So come out to here, come down to Leslie Dam. It's called Wash Pool Reserve. Don't go to the tourist, look, it's up to you. You want to go to the tourist park, go to the tourist park and pay a lot of money. But out here, 14 bucks. Remember, that's the 10. 14 bucks! Mm -hmm. Look, it's a nice. And, like I said, the rating of the toilets. While I was here, I had a couple of showers while I was here and used the toilet facilities. Mate, I could not fault them. Ah, oh, they might a little bit, of, a little bit of paint here or there, but mate. <laughs> Guess what? It's hit a five. It's five in my books for a cheap budget campsite. Not like these other ones, mate. Some of them are grotty. Uh, they're not clean, they've got the toilet paper, you know, hand sanitizer, paper towel, as we need the paper towel these days because of the COVID and stuff, to so wash our hands. And it's good hygiene practice washing your hands everywhere you go. So look, it's hit a number five for me. I am so happy with those showers, it's not funny. Um, great campsite, seriously great campsite. I cannot fold, it's got wildlife, it's got water it's got flat areas it's also for very big buses how do you do the clampers i hope you like wash pool reserve mate seriously it's a little piece of heaven just out of brisbane like i said 171 kilometers out of brisbane 17 kilometers from warwick mate seriously if you've got anything to do with water jet skis sailboats speed boats mate everything you can do with water Bring it out here, there's plenty of boat ramps. And mate, seriously, this park caters for everyone. Big rigs, small rigs, tents, you name it, you can bring it here and it's level. It is a beautiful place to come visit if you want. Mate, come out for a week. It's cheap as. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, turn your notifications on, and guys, hit the subscribe button so you get the latest videos from my series that I've got on YouTube right now. We're doing Queensland right now. Very shortly, I'm gonna hit New South Wales, South Australia, Western Australia, the NT, the works. Come on a journey with us and check out the latest free and budget campsites. 
Talk to you soon, clambers. Have a great weekend. Thank you.